Hey everyone, it's MJ. This is my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today, I'd like to do a little primer on NetGalley. Stay tuned. All right, so read what you own challenge. I gave myself a little, a little zhuzh, a little zhuzh, just to spice up my reading a little bit. I'm allowing myself some ARCs, and I just finished one today, and oh, it was so good. It was so good, like I want to read more. So let's talk about NetGalley. NetGalley is a service that is free. It's free for people in the... Um, uh, people in the book industry, as well as reviewers like you and like me that we have on Goodreads. If you write a review on Goodreads, you, you could probably do a NetGalley account too. So the first thing you need to do is sign up. Okay. Um, you have to have a little bit of a bio. Uh, you have to put in your Goodreads page. Um, if you're a booktuber, you have to list your channel, TikTok, uh, Twitter, all of your socials, whatever you want to include. And basically you could put as little or as much as you want in your bio. Um, but you, you have to have the, the mentality that you're kind of selling yourself just a little bit because you want the publishers to give you the books, right? Because um, you want you want to read those books. You just want to read those books. So um you get a percentage that's assigned to you. So I think when you start out, you start out at a 0%. So when you start reading books, every review that you put in is going to up your percentage. Um, I would suggest there's an option to pick read now books. There's also audio books on NetGalley. Did you know that? Yeah, you can do audio books too. The read now function does not, you do not need a prerequisite. You do not need a rating. You do not need anything like that in order to read those books or to listen to those books. They are available to you immediately. So you can honestly build up your review rating by doing that. Search for read now, download some books that you think you might be interested in, read them, put a review up. Every time you put a review on NetGalley, you submit it to NetGalley, your rating is going to go up. Okay, if that makes sense. This is just a one-on-one primer. I'm not getting deep in it. Um, you know, you can you can go on the website and figure it out for yourself. But this is just my experience with NetGalley and my tips for you. Um, okay, so once you have a decent rating, there's going to be some books out there that are going to catch your eye, specifically the books from major publishers. Um, you have to apply to get that book released to you, depending on your history. Um, you know, I've been turned down for some books and I've been approved for some books that I didn't think I would be approved for. So you really just have to, you just have to try. You just have to try. Um, I made a huge mistake today. I got my rating up to like 86 percent which is good it's, you should have your rating above 80 percent uh and then i wanted to get this one book so i w withdrew a request to read gambino iglesias's book that's going to come out in the fall and i withdrew it and i'm such an idiot because i shouldn't have done that because by doing that i'm not going to be able to request it again <sighs> Like, why would I do that? So, and I think it dropped my rating down too. But it is what it is. A lesson learned. Huge lesson learned. If you are watching this, I need that book. I need to read that book. Please send it to me. Please, please, please. <laughs> so, okay. Um, all right. So that's that. So be careful what you request and what you're going to read. Now, when you're, when you're granted a book, you're going to have access to that book and that um, you're going to be able to have it sent over to your Kindle or there's also a NetGalley app. NetGalley app, um, you'll be able to read it off of your phone uh, or your iPad. So um, I 
preferably read off of my Kindle, which is fantastic. It's, it's a great um, resource, a great addition that they added a while ago, because back in the day you had to do like Adobe Reader and all of that. And now it's just so much easier, so much more simple. Um, and you have a certain amount of time to do it, preferably before the publishing date. Um, because uh, authors and reviewers and, and publishers, authors and publishers want the reviews out. They want them out before the book is out to get hype going, to get people interested in the book, to get feedback on the book, especially if there's issues with the book. Maybe they could do a rewrite. Maybe they could move things around. It's really just up to the publisher based on the reviews coming through. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a scratch my back and I'll scratch yours type of a service, right? Because the publishing industry needs us to talk about the books um, and we need the books to talk about, especially the ones that we're waiting for, the, the good ones like um, uh, Gambino Iglesias. Yeah, send that book, please. Please, please, please. Okay. Um, so let me share with you uh, one of the books that I got. And this was a book that um, I picked up Friday, maybe? When I decided to get my net galley back up and running. Uh, let's see. This is a horror book. It's a novella. And this was put out by Dark Lit Press. And this is by Steve Stred. And the name of the book is When I Look at the Sky, All I See Are Stars. This cover does not do it justice because it's not in color. But this in color, I'll superimpose a picture on top here. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. There are, there is a reader beware on this one that says, um, this story is based on real events or a real interaction. And there are trigger warnings associated with this book. But that was an open read. So anyone could go in and download it, read it, review it, get a percentage up there, get your numbers up. Okay. I also downloaded a writing book, a book about writing and that writing book has prompts associated with it. So that's going to be useful to me, uh, in my writing future. I also downloaded a meditation book and the meditation is a visual meditation. Um, and that was really fascinating. So all of those that I was able to get through really fast and review and get back up online have helped my score, okay? And then now I'm waiting to see if that one big book, if I'm gonna get approved for it or not. If I don't get approved, then that's fine. I'm gonna move on to something else. But if I do get approved, oh, it's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna be wonderful. I just read about this author. I followed them on Twitter. They followed me back. Uh, two book deal, seven figures. And the book comes out in October, and then this, the second book in the series comes out in 2026. So, yeah, it, it, it should not let me down, basically, is what I'm saying. So, for anyone that's interested in NetGalley, go and check it out. Sign up for an account. It's free. It's free. Think of all the money that you can save by reading and reviewing books. And by giving the review, you're actually helping you know, the author, the publisher, the, the publishing industry, it's, we're keeping the wheels turning. Okay. Um, the one caveat that I'm going to say that happens to everyone is you get greedy. You get greedy. You see a book, you want the book, you request the book, you get the book, and then it sits there and you forget about it, or you don't have time to read it, or you just don't feel like it, or it's already been published and now it's archived and you can't get into that book. Okay. My advice is just go one book at a time. Don't request five books and then five books get approved for you. And now you have five books that you need to read and you have to, you know, submit the reviews and you need to, um, you know, be responsible with it. People dig holes. I've, I've dug holes. Trust me. You know, I've had books lay there for a while, but I've also had to redeem myself. So there's options. And I was talking to Hannah from Hannah's Books. And maybe in November, along with Nonfiction November, we could do Net Galley November. Clean up your Net Galleys. What do you think about that? Comment down below and let me know if you think that's a good idea. Hannah, you're co-hosting it with me. 
<laughs> All right, everyone, that is my little tutorial for NetGalley. Check it out. You might like it. Um, and you can search for all different types of books. One of the one of the best things that I like to look for is horror, poetry, um, self help books are cool too. And there are nonfiction. Um, there's nonfiction books out. There's something for every whatever book is in the industry. You can find it on NetGalley. You can also find like coffee table books. Yeah. Okay. So give it a go. Let me know in the comment section how you make out. Let me know if you enjoy NetGalley. Let me know what your hang up is with NetGalley. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. And I will see you in my next video, whether that be sooner or later. So until next time, goodbye for now. Happy reading.